Hi everyone, welcome to our first YouTube of Getting to Know BMO. It's all about the Bank of Montreal and we've got a mortgage specialist with us today and we're talking about first time buyers. But uh, I'll introduce you to our mortgage specialist. Hopefully I'll get his name right. Asid Naeem, mortgage specialist at the Bank of Montreal. So let's join up with him now and talk about what the BMO have for first time buyers. Hi Asid, it's good to have you with us from the BMO. A mortgage specialist. Well, yeah, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to talk about some different topics, but I think we have one topic in particular that we're going to talk about, right? Yeah, we do, because when we had a chat the other day, I was just amazed at the amount of products that uh, the BMO has. So we're going to put together a few uh, videos, split screen videos uh, between me and you, and it's going to be called Getting to Know BMO, uh, because um, I think the difference is a lot of brokers can't offer what because it's a BMO product basically it's just with you guys you know so when you when we went through the other day I was just I thought wow you know I don't believe they've got you know I couldn't learn it all so this is doing two things I said it, it's actually teaching me about the product and hopefully the people who watch the video will learn about it as well and today we're going to talk about first-time buyers because it's uh, people a lot of young people as well who just want to get on the property market and uh, yeah. it, it, i'm going to leave it to you and you explain of course what they can do uh, and ways yeah. and i'm particularly interested in if they can um i'm going to say borrow money but uh, you know be be is is there a space where the far the you know the parents can put money in an account and all that but i won't confuse it i'll just let you explain it so yeah so we're looking after the first time buyer you go ahead yeah. with the program all right yeah that's one of my favorite programs uh one of the favorite topics i'd like to speak about as well so it's a great start <laughs> now there are a couple of ways to address it there's the government method where they have an incentive program and then there's the cra method where they allow you to put towards an rsp and withdraw from an rsp for a first-time home price program so we'll start off with the government incentive now what the government is basically incentivizing young people or new first-time home buyers to do is if you don't have the entire 20 percent and once again this program is only for people who don't have 20 percent to put down as a down payment the government can put either five or ten percent towards your down payment to help you out with your initial down payment to buy your new home mm -hmm. now there are a couple of benefits for this a you're getting a little more of a down payment to put towards the property and how that domino effects over it is there's less of a mortgage in uh, mortgage insurance for you to pay over there because of course mortgage insurance also adds on to your mortgage and because there's less of a mortgage insurance there's also less of an overall mortgage for you to pick up and when those two lump sums are less you're going to have less of an amount to put towards your monthly mortgage principal and interest that means even more affordable payments for first-time home buyers because number one thing that people want or the government wants is affordability affordability for people who are just venturing off into buying the first home no one wants to be hit with a huge shock of payments being out of their own budget. And what happens is this, incre this increases purchasing power, allows people to buy a more affordable home for themselves, a more suitable home for themselves, which they might not have been able to do if they were just putting down the down payment themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's a great benefit. It's a great program that the government has introduced. And first time home buyers can definitely leverage this to be able to make those lower monthly payments and to buy a little more pricier home or maybe even get that base model and upgrade it a little more to what they like right so that that i find is quite helpful that's the government incentive the next one is focused around an rsp account and as you said where parents can give a little bit of a gift to a child or their you know kids and those kids can put it into an account to save up for the down payment. So the RSP account, um, a lot of people know about it. A lot of people know about the benefits of it. But this is how CRA allows you to use that RSP account for your first time home purchase. And it's known as the first time home buyers program. What happens is you're allowed to put money into your RSP account 
parents can put money into the children's RSP accounts. And when it's time to buy a home, the children can withdraw up to 35,000 from each person's account. So if there's, uh, let's just say two people going in on the mortgage together, each person can withdraw up to 35,000 each from their own uh, respective RSP accounts mm -hmm. to put towards a new home. Now, the misconception is that that money is going to go strictly towards a down payment of home. But they can, in fact, use that towards anything for that first home, whether it is a down payment, whether it's closing costs, uh, whether it's moving in, whether it's furnishing it, or anything that's required for that first time home buying purchase. So it makes it a lot easier for people to save. And of course, there's a benefit to putting money into that RSP as well. There's a tax deference meaning you can end up getting a refund and if you do end up getting a refund you can either you know put that back into an rsp account or pay off debts that'll help you qualify for that home and if anything if you're snowballing it year after year it's really going to help you save up and pay off those debts that help you qualify once again another great tool and to repay that rsp amount that you're taking out hey you're going to take it out tax-free because you're taking it out before that first time home buying purchase, you have 15 years to pay that amount back. Mm -hmm. So whatever so. amount that is gets broken up into 15 equal payments over 15 years. And then you can slowly put those chunks right back into the RSP. So, you know, it's a great way to pay it back and it helps people to get into their first home. Two really great programs, two beautiful programs that, you know, anybody can use. And I also want to break down the term first time home buyer as well. A lot of people think that a first time home buyer is a person that has never bought a property before. In most cases, yes, right? But there are some exemptions to that rule where a person could become a first time home buyer again if they had previously owned a property. One is if a person had sold that home or their previously owned property and they were renting for four years. After four years of not owning any properties, they can re-qualify as a first-time home buyer and take advantage of these programs. Okay. And another instance is, let's just say um, there's a marital breakdown and those two partners go their separate way. They sell their marital home. Both partners have had to be on title for their marital home before it was sold. Once it was sold and that marital breakdown happens, both partners now qualify as a first time home buyer as well because of the marital breakdown. So it becomes easier for both parties to go out and buy a new home for themselves and maintain their lifestyle. Maybe they have their kids with them that one of them are taking custody of. So it becomes easier for them to get back into a house to start a new life over again. And yeah, that, that in a nutshell is the first time home buyers and first time home buyer programs. Um, what do you think of them? I think they're excellent, actually. I think it's uh, pretty fascinating. Uh, and it's hard to take everything in in one go, you know. So at the end of this video, um, I'm going to put all your contact details and then people can get in touch with you. And it, there's a lot to take in and a lot to understand. But I think it's there, especially with the government help and everything like that. So uh, let's sign off now. Uh, we'll pick another subject and uh, I'll talk to you again. Yeah, absolutely. I look forward to it. Yeah. Thanks, Asif. Thank you. No